Okay. Well, that's that's fine. All right. So we're we're going ahead and we're doing stuff now to make the text appear with the UI. We're going to do this. We're going to do UI player text. So let's do a text object or wait, let's do it outside. Actually, where is this player in it? Here we go. Text HP text HP text dot set font. So the font we loaded in font and HP text dot set character size. I think we're going to go with like 12 and HP text dot set fill color color white and the set font character size fill color. That's good. And then we're just going to set the position at the player position later. Same thing we're going to do with enemies. Uh, enemies. Where is enemies? Here we go. Uh, EHP text. To make it complicated. Okay. White. And we're going to set this at the position of every enemy. And we're going to change the value. And we're going to print it out. Uh, so we don't have to make multiple ones. Now one thing I did wrong was I... With the bullets... Wait. Okay. If enemies... My position I dot HP... Less than equal to zero... Then we erase that. Else enemies dot uh, h wait uh, at position i dot hp. There we go. Enemy take damage. So boom, boom, boom. We're going to draw the enemy text over there. We're going to set the position for the UI. Update. Where is player? Player. God. So this is player enemy. Look at this drawing. Here we go. Uh, so <clears throat> HP text dot set position. Position. Uh, player dot shape dot get position. So we're gonna put it at the position minus position x minus what is it like? Uh, HP text dot get get global bounds dot height no dot Actually, here we don't have to do anything. Get position X. I think Y is where you have to do it. So get the position X. I will move it up a little bit. Uh, get position Y minus HP text dot get global bounds dot height. So it's going to move up a little bit. Uh, and then HP text dot set string. This is how you set the string for it. And then we're going to do, uh, how are we going to do, player.get, player.hp, I'm going to do a two string, two string, player.hp, plus, then we're going to do all of this into a C string, I think, no, wait, st, two string, player.hp, plus, plus to string uh, player dot HP max so there we go there we go and we're just gonna 
draw this out. So we're going to draw the UI last. UI. Uh, Window.draw HP text. And we're going to draw the text and update the text for the enemy in draw. You shouldn't do this usually, but uh, we'll do it here because we're, you know, we have to do it here because we didn't do it in the class. Uh, but e hp text dot set position uh, enemies i dot get shape dot get position dot x and then the y y minus enemies no wait minus e hp text get global bounds dot height so it's going to set the position for that enemy first we're going to do hp text dot set string enemies position i dot hp to string Sorry about this video being so long, but uh, I think it's worth it. Plus, and then plus, uh, plus std. You know what, we'll just copy paste this. Max. There we go. So it's going to set the string. For that enemy, it's going to set it at that position and it's going to draw it out. Uh, Window.draw EHP text. Okay. Let's just pray that this works. So I got the text. Okay, wait, why, why isn't this working? Wait now. Okay. At least the, the at least the HP is being drawn out. Um, so that's good. Let's see what I did wrong. Okay, so if it's less or equal to zero, else enemies i dot HP minus minus. Well, I mean, that should work. Why is this not? Oh, whoops. K, sorry. Whoops. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Now it should work. So it has to, when it's zero, then it works. Okay, so it has to be equal to zero. No, wait, one. Because it's gonna check it. If it's one HP and I hit it, then it's gonna die. All right. So we have some random enemies with some random HP coming in and uh, we need to increase the shoot timer to 15, 15 and then so we can just shoot all of these enemies. All right. And then we're going to make one more text object, one more text object. Uh, and we're going to say text score score dot set font font uh, then score dot set character size say we do 20 score dot set fill color 
color white and then score dot set position um, so we do 10 dot f 10 dot f oh, no actually we want it at the right uh, oh no we'll keep it we'll keep it in the we'll keep it top left keep it top left and then score dot set string so then we want a int score zero score zero and every time we kill an enemy an enemy dies where is that here and every time an enemy dies we'll get that score so Uh, sorry about that. So here, score is equal to adds uh, that enemy at position k dot hp max. So it's gonna give if you if you kill a harder enemy, you're gonna get a harder kind of you're gonna get more. Uh, wait, oops. In score, where did I do that? That wasn't good. That wasn't smart. Hello. Int. Oh wait, score, and then we're gonna do score text. That's better. And then score, boom. We're gonna add score. You don't want to do this under because you're gonna have deleted the enemy already. So you want to do it before and then delete the enemy. And we're gonna draw score text. Window dot draw score text and then where is update so updating stuff we want to update let's do it under player oh whoops let's do it all the way down UI update let's do this so I know where draw starts uh, UI update Score text dot set string string Ugh. Uh, std to string std wait now what? Uh, score I think there we go std2 string and just score I want to do a score plus std2 string so now this should be good actually so we, we're updating it see it's it's being updated and uh, boom hell yeah so we're getting a score, we're shooting stuff, and what you can do is you can make this harder, kind of. So I'm 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10, so when my HP is 0, we're going to do one last thing, again, <laughs> one last thing, uh, where is UI in it, here we go, text, game over, text, and we're going to do the same thing. Copy paste this in here. Set font. Let's make this to 30. And we want to make this red. Set that position to uh, window dot get size. Uh, we'll set that position to 100 f. And then window dot gets window dot get size dot y divided by 2 so that's gonna put it kind of in the center then game over text dot set string game over okay so uh, we want to keep drawing but we don't want to keep moving 
So let's make an if statement around uh, so here we go so if player dot get or player player that HP is less or equal to zero then window dot draw game over text and, uh, and we're gonna draw that and we're gonna play the game event here player if player dot HP is greater or equal to HP player dot HP max greater or equal to zero sorry greater than zero then we're gonna just put an if statement around everything that is in draw because we're gonna stop updating the game if the player dies and but we're gonna keep drawing but I can't even speak anymore we're gonna keep drawing because we just want everything to be paused kind of and then it's gonna say game over and then you can escape you can start again uh, so yeah guys and girls it's about it it's about it that is a side-scroller shooter game with textures on your bullets on your player on your enemy everything it was a really long video one hour long uh, I might might just cut this into a few pieces uh, might be worth that but yeah hell yeah I hope you enjoyed that it wasn't the cleanest programming but it's it shows you what you can do and uh, yeah Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me so long. And I really appreciate the support and everything. And take care. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.